بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, we are still uh, giving uh, more and more examples as applications for uh, Newton's second law uh, now we will uh, proceed to example number five okay example number five in this example we have a passenger in an elevator so let me draw the elevator this is the elevator and we have a person standing on a balance scale okay I don't know why he's doing like that but this is the question okay so here we have a balance scale and the person the passenger is uh, standing on that uh, scale uh, the mass of this passenger mass of the passenger is a little bit in the heavy side is 100 kilograms just to make it easy for calculations um, and we would like to ask about the reading of the scale okay find the reading of the scale okay uh, sometimes we can replace this the reading of the scale uh, we can replace it with the normal force because the scale will be reading the normal force in fact when you stand uh, over the uh, scale to find your uh, uh, weight it doesn't read your weight uh, always huh? sometimes as we'll see in this example actually it reads the normal force and this normal force will be changing as the elevator uh, changing okay so he might ask you find the normal force okay the normal uh, force on the person or sometimes we can write it as find the force exerted on the passenger this is just the definition of the normal force the force exerted on the passenger by the uh, the floor or the scale in this case by the floor okay now we'll have different cases this is the statement of the problem but we will uh, try to find it in uh, different cases let me start with case a case a find this reading when the elevator is either the elevator is moving up at constant speed this is the first case or similarly the object is moving down at constant speed or even if the elevator is at rest doesn't move at all okay is at rest what is common about these three uh, situations if the object is moving up at constant speed moving down at constant speed or at rest okay if you remember from the kinematics this means that the acceleration is equal to how much guess my student yes true acceleration is zero okay in all these three cases okay so how to find the normal force when the acceleration is equal to zero meaning that moving up at constant speed moving down at constant speed or even the elevator is at rest okay we will start as usual by drawing the free body diagram what is my object of interest in this case the normal force is applied on which object it is applied on the passenger okay so my object of interest is the passenger the eleva elevator is not my object of interest okay my interest doesn't go to the scale my object of interest is the passenger so I'll take the passenger I'll draw him as this little circle okay what are the forces acting on this passenger the forces are we know fg is downward and fg is nothing but mg this is its magnitude its direction is vertically downward 
and there is a force which is the normal force, which is the force exerted by uh, the floor or the scale on the passenger, okay? And in this case, the acceleration is equal to, is equal to zero. Now, I am ready to apply Newton's second law. What does it say? It says F net equals M, M A. The acceleration is zero, so this is zero. What are the forces present on the passenger? We have F N upward, M G is downward, this is why I give it minus, and this is equal to zero, so F N is equal to M G, okay? And the mass is 100 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, so you will end up with 980 newtons. As you can see here, this is uh, the normal force is the same as the weight of the of the person. Okay, so F n in this case will be equal to the weight of the passenger. Okay, so you will get your actual weight if you measure uh, or if you stand on the uh, scale uh, in non-accelerating frame, okay? So you have uh, in the elevator while it is not moving at rest or the elevator is moving down at constant speed or moving up at uh, constant speed. Okay, let us go to second part of this question. Part B, if the elevator if the elevator, elevator, has an acceleration, A equals one meter per second squared. This is the magnitude of the acceleration, and the direction is upward, okay? We want to find what is the normal force on the passenger in this case, okay? First step is to draw the free body diagram as usual. So this is the person, okay? But before, let me explain, um, my dear student, what do we mean by the acceleration is one meter per second square upward? When can we have this acceleration? This acceleration can be achieved, uh, or we can think of it two cases or two situations. First of all, the elevator is moving up, elevator moves, Upward, okay, so the velocity is upward, okay, and uh, the speed or with increasing, increasing speed, okay, so the velocity is upward and the acceleration is upward and you will have the speed increasing with time, okay, so this is one situation. The second situation, if we can have the elevator moving downward, okay, so the velocity is downward, okay, and if the acceleration is upward, what will happen to the speed of this elevator? It will be uh, decreasing, okay? So this is the second case uh, of having upward acceleration. So elevator moves uh, downward, uh, of course, it should be moving straight or vertically downward. The elevators are moving in. So the elevator moves downward with decreasing speed. Okay, so in these two situations, the acceleration is upward. One of them, the speed is uh, increasing uh, and the motion is upward or the speed is decreasing and the motion is downward. So let me draw the free body diagram. In both cases, whether the motion is upward or the motion is downward, the free body diagram will look like the following. So I have, this is the person, the passenger, okay? The forces acting on it are Fg, which is downward, it has a magnitude of Mg, and the normal force, which would like to calculate here, and the acceleration is, is upward, okay, according to the uh, statement of the problem. Now I am ready to apply Newton's second law. 
on this object. It is one dimensional uh, problem, so I'll apply it along this vertical axis. So F net equals M A. Okay, let me now on the left hand side, I'll plug in all the forces acting on my object. I have F N upward, so it is positive because it is upward, minus M G. I put the minus sign because it is downward. Now I am done with the forces, equal. Okay, and the left hand side, I should plug all the forces. Okay, when you are done, put the equal sign, then you go to the right hand side where you put the acceleration with its sign. So the acceleration in this case is upward, and my upward is positive in my case, so equals MA. Okay, so now I can write FN. The normal force will be uh, M multiplied by G plus, plus A. If you plug in the numbers, this is 100 multiplied by 9.8 plus 1, which is 10.8. Okay, so this is 10.8. And you are left with normal force equals 1080 newtons. As you can see here, uh, the normal force is greater than the weight of the passenger. The weight of the passenger was 980 newtons. Now, the normal force is greater than, greater than the weight of passenger. Okay, we sometimes call it the apparent weight. Okay, so this, uh, this is not your actual weight. You will see this apparent, apparent weight in the case of, uh, yes, and you can feel it when the elevator is accelerating upward, okay, you can feel there's too much push on your back, huh? you feel it in your back and on your legs uh, uh, in the elevator, okay, you feel this increase in the normal force or the push of the accelerator uh, uh, on, your, on your body. Okay, let us get to the third uh, case, which is case C. You guess here, here the acceleration was zero. In part B, the acceleration was uh, upward. So you can have a correct guess. In, in part C, that the elevator will be accelerating if the elevator has an acceleration of uh, magnitude A equals one meter per second square, this is the magnitude, and the direction is downward, okay? So it is similar to the previous problem, but now the acceleration, same magnitude, but it is downward. When can we have such a situation? We might think of the elevator moving up, the elevator. Let me choose the other pen. The elevator moves downward, okay? Okay, and the acceleration is downward. So the velocity is downward and the acceleration is downward. This means the speed is, uh, speed is increasing. Let me use the same wording, with increasing speed. With, with increasing speed speed. So it is accelerating downward. Or the second case, we may think of my elevator moving upward. The elevator moves upward. I hope it is clear. Upward. But what will happen now? The velocity is upward. The acceleration is downward. So what happens to the speed of my object? Yes, it is decreasing. So with decreasing decreasing speed, okay? Both situations, the acceleration will be downward. If we draw, as is always the case, we start by drawing the free body diagram. This is my passenger, okay? And what are the forces acting on the passenger? I have Fg downward, which is the mass of the passenger multiplied by uh, G, and the normal force, which is upward, and the acceleration is downward in this case, okay? Now, 
we apply Newton's uh, second law in this one dimensional uh, motion, vertical motion, F net equals MA. This is the general form of Newton's second law. What are the forces? I have the normal force upward, which is positive, the uh, gravitational force, which is downward. This is why I put it negative. I am done with the forces. Now I go to the right hand side which talks about the acceleration. So, mass multiplied by acceleration, but my acceleration is downward, okay? But downward, I have chosen that direction to be negative, okay? So this will be minus ma, okay? So we can write that Fn will be uh, m multiplied by g minus, g minus a. g is 9.8 minus uh, one, so this is 8.8 .8 multiplied by 100, so you are left with 880 newtons as the magnitude of the of the normal force. So when you notice, this is less than the actual weight of the of the passenger. The actual weight is 980, but in this case, the normal force or the push of the elevator uh, on the passenger will be less than less than the weight weight of passenger, and I think you felt this uh, when you are in an elevator and the elevator is accelerating downward. Okay, at the start of the motion of the elevator, accelerating downward, you feel yourself, uh, yani, uh, lighter lighter than, or you feel less push from the uh, ground or the floor of the elevator. I hope with this question, you uh, have a broader understanding of the meaning of the normal force. The normal force is uh, the push of the surface on object standing on it or supported by, by these surfaces. Also very important to know that the reading of the scale when you stand uh, on top of it the reading of it is the normal force, okay? And this normal force will be uh, changing uh, depending on the magnitude of the acceleration, okay? If the acceleration is zero, okay, in these three uh, uh, situations, the reading of the scale will be the same as your weight. If the acceleration is upward, the normal force will be greater than the weight. And if the acceleration is downward, the normal force will be less than the actual weight. Thank you.